us over down the line, you know we did, 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 did. Many people, especially adults, don't like to listen to their youth. And I don't think it's fair. I think everyone should be heard. And not only heard, but listened to. Because there's many things that I could say that maybe could help us out. My America looks like equality. It looks like reparations. It looks like apologies. It looks like the government giving back to the people that they stole from. The American dream that is written on paper and the one that actually happens in every day to day life exists in two different realms. I think that the American dream is like a total figment of people's imagination and it died with history. It's like white picket fence and like housewife and husband, but now I don't think anyone grows up thinking that's what I want with my life anymore. Hell no. Nobody. Fix it. Fix father fallen feather to fan. He's fucked up, faint. Fix the fix, the broken ain't working for y'all, no way. Fix mother, naturally uncovered, smothered by all that we've discovered. Fix some food too. Fix some pig feet, chitlins, greens. Fix some dressing, cup the cranberry, fix something cool. Keep it kosher, pull the pork. Toss tortillas over walls, make amends over amen. Fix all that shit I won't eat but know how to make. I won't make but know how to eat. Fix the marching of the band to combat the boundless feet over feet. I guess because of the way that I grew up, I'm interested in helping teach at-risk kids. I grew up in a very abusive household with like, an alcoholic, abusive mom, and a lot of things were forced on me, like religion and just ideas that I didn't totally believe in. And a lot of my family was very homophobic and transphobic, and because I got out of that and survived that way, I would like to help other kids kind of navigate uh, how, to, how to deal with living that way. I fight in memory of my brother. He was being bullied for like his size and everyone wanted to fight him once they found out he was a boxer. So one day he couldn't take it no more. He was 17 when he committed suicide. We dedicate all of our winnings and everything we do to him. Hey, Turner, this is Mr. O City, a no city, baby. I'm trying to call you, man. I got a couple of guys from the uh, 405 Posse and uh, East Side Roundup on the phone. They was trying to holler at you. And I got uh, uh, Demery's father's number. So if you could, give me a call right back. We've been riding on ever since I was born. My dad helped me learn how to ride. TJ is the one that helped me learn how to rope, and Jars is the one that let me learn how to tie. I rope calves, I team rope, and occasionally I bulldog, which is what my dad does. I do it because dad does it. Well, the cowboy image means being somebody that you can be looked up from. Like my siblings, I feel like they look up to me. I think they like Cowboys a lot more than they like basketball players. When we get hurt, we get up and we go back at it. Basketball players, they get hurt and they sit down for about four weeks. <laughs> Last year, I was lucky enough to win me a championship. I'm happy to say I was able to follow in my dad's footsteps. I rodeo for my family. My winnings are to help my family, but I rodeo for my happiness and my enjoyment. 
stars in the sky was the truth. Tell a lie, tell the story like my grandma said. Barack Obama, did you cry today? What kind of tears you said? Were they brown? Scared? Did they stop before hitting the ground so nobody could walk all over them? Barack Obama, you remember 2008 like I do. Did you cry that day? The same way you did today? Do you think we still can? Can we? Can you? Me? Barack Obama, do you like being asked questions? How about 2012? You remember all those gunshots as applause? Like July 4th? No fireworks? Just firearms? Feeling free? A president that looks like me and Michael and Laquan and Tamir and Amadou. Barack Obama, you remember election 2016? You remember the day after? The day everyone knew what it felt like to be black? Barack Obama, can I cry in your name tonight? Do you think I have a prayer strong enough for the world to hear? Do you pray too? Can I listen? Can I join? Barack Obama, wherever you going, can I join? This is a college town. You know, I'm not in college, I'm 18. I kind of just dropped out of high school and started working. So I feel kind of looked down upon for that. Moving out and being on my own has done a lot for how I see myself. Once you get out on your own and start doing your own thing, you start to see who you really are. And I've started to like who I really am. As a woman, I feel like I'm misunderstood and stereotyped for sure, 100%. I mean, I'm sure Arya can agree. We're like just like completely sexualized beings no matter what we do. No matter what, since I was like 11 years old. Yeah, since you start puberty. As a black woman, especially as a black trans woman, there are problems and standards and things of that nature projected onto me on a daily basis. And stereotypes that already exist, plus the stereotypes that are emerging as of late. One, it's not that major. Forget everything you've heard because it's not true. Two, we're not all the same. People are people, regardless of what kind of people they are. And three, Get over your hang-ups, like, stop trying so hard to, like, I don't know, it's so frustrating. Like, just stop assuming or stop, um, how do you say, stop. There's a lot of kids out there that trash talk me and say stuff about me, but I just get over that and show them that I can do it and make them feel bad for what they have said. think that guys are stronger than women, but women can get up there with the guys. I'm not a friend of the right-wing conservatives in Texas, for sure. I helped organize this protest that kind of outlines the absurdity of Campus Carry, which allows for people over 21 with a handgun license to carry a handgun concealed in our classrooms, in our libraries, in our dormitories, etc. Openly carry sex toys is a Class C misdemeanor. We thought that it was just strange that something so innocuous would be considered more dangerous than a loaded handgun. On August 26th, the first day of the semester, we all decided to pass out 4,000 donated dildos to students and faculty, and it was a big hit. I qualified for nationals, which is gonna happen in West Virginia. And if I win, I will go on Team USA and they will take us across the country to fight at Tokyo for the Olympics.
see myself as a role model for the children that I work with every day. For them to see black and brown people walk in the light of something that they don't normally see. So I don't rap, I don't do drugs, I don't shoot people. But what I do is try to give as much of myself to them as I can and everything that I give to them, I want it to be positive and I want it to be something that they can use for the rest of their lives. The title of this poem is Don't Judge a Book by Its Cover. Don't Judge a Judge by Its Character. The title of this poem is 45th in Dropout, 47th in Average ACT Score, 48th in Math. The title of this poem is Education. They Don't Really Care About Us. It's a redlining red state. It's celebrating black girl magic in the mayor's office while mourning Alton all in the same breath. The title of this poem is Blue Lives Matter. It's Alton wasn't black enough to be blue. It's Alton had them black boy blues. It's being a shade away from becoming a track list at your own funeral. The title of this poem is depression, anxiety, fear. It's feeling like you work in a fourth grade cemetery every day. The title of this poem is Graveyard. It's I don't want to live like this. It's feeling like I'm putting my skin in danger every time I step outside of my apartment. It's trading in activism for survival. I want to live in a country that will allow me to breathe without seeing my lungs as weapons, without seeing my words as weapons. The title of this poem is America the Barbaric. And I know we can be more civil, right? The American dream may be an advertisement, but many people look into advertisements. They look and see, wow, can we really have this? Someone once told me carrying it was an insult. Someone once told me that it was an honor. Clearly neither one of them had to pick it up the way that I felt I had to. My box bark at the police, so I'll carry it with me. We fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Clean up the mess, puff out your chest, get your fix check, wear your tool shed. Clean up this mess, cause somewhere, yeah, we did it, did it. Clean up this mess, cause somewhere, yeah, we did it, did it. to see an America where queer and trans and black and brown people aren't persecuted just for being who they are. For my children's only worry to be successful in a society where we're all equal and have the same opportunity, not one that is alluded to on a constitutional level but not actually acted upon. My dream for the future is that we can get to a point where we are actively putting resources into poor neighborhoods, uh, black and brown communities, communities that have been underfunded, under-resourced. We can ultimately adopt the original consensus that every American deserves all privileges and all opportunities. I dream that we can all come together and not judge each other off the color of our skin, but who we really are inside. We really have a hope that is very hard to be destroyed because it's coming up in a place where it, it seems like the goal of everything around us is to destroy. And um, that tough love, I think, is really making this combat and we're using this combat of love and compassion in a way that I think 
revolutionary generations before us have, but they clearly didn't finish the job. So it's our turn now.